So we've been keeping a very close eye on the market as promised, trying to see if the momentum from December was going to keep up into January, and it certainly has. Buyers came out of the gates running in January, and it was the busiest start to the year we've ever seen. I'm Medina Giorgisanu. I'm Deidre Weinstein. With Oakland Realty, and we're here with your February 2021 market update. So we're gonna walk you through the numbers as usual and start off with, by showing you what's happening with sales, what's happening with listing activity, prices. And what we're expecting to see in the coming months. Let's jump right in. Sales in January were up 52% compared to last year and 36% over the 10-year sales average. With sales up at these record highs, supply hasn't been able to keep pace, and we're seeing increasing competition amongst buyers. While the number of new listings was 86% higher than December, it wasn't enough to keep up with buyer demand, and current inventory levels are down 4% relative to last year. To show you this contrast between demand and supply levels, let's take a look at the detached market, which is currently the most active segment in our market. On the east side, detached home sales are up 104% relative to last year, with inventory down 17%. On the west side, detached home sales are up 97% relative to last year, with inventory down 24%. This increase in sales activity and reduction in inventory levels has put upward pressure on our sales to active listings ratio. Currently, the ratio for our region is sitting at 29%. If we look at this by product type, we see that it's 26% for detached homes, 38% for townhomes, and 28% for condos. And if you recall, analysts say that we start seeing upward pressure on prices when this ratio is anywhere over 21%. And we've certainly been seeing this. Mm -hmm. And this is the, exactly the effect we've seen on prices. If we look at the HPI benchmark price for all property types, it was up 0.9% in January relative to December, and it's currently up 5.5% relative to last year. If we look at this broken down by property type relative to January of last year, detached homes are up 11%, townhomes are up 4%, and condos are up 2%. The big question we've been getting from a lot of our clients is what's ahead for the market this year? And the truth is, it seems like it's going to be a lot more of what we're currently seeing right now. To give you some context of what we're seeing on the ground, here are a few examples of what happened this week. In North Vancouver, one property had received 26 offers and sold for 400,000 over asking. Another property in Burnaby had 43 offers and sold for 216,000 over asking. Those are some pretty big numbers. And if you think of the context behind those, you know, 43 offers, one buyer got that property. Now there's 42 other buyers ready to go and looking for the same type of property. And in North Vancouver with that competing offer situation, there are still 25 buyers out there looking for properties. So we would need a lot more inventory to come on the market before things stabilize and buyers have more selection and we could even foresee prices possibly going down. What we're expecting to see in the year ahead is that it's going to be an active market which is great news for sellers. If you own property, especially a detached property, and you've been thinking of selling, now is a phenomenal time to take advantage of the market. Give us a call so we can show you our plan to safely sell your home in this market. And get the highest price. In the meantime, be sure to follow us on Instagram so you can stay tuned with what's going on in the market. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to share it with your friends and family who are thinking of buying or selling this year. We'll see you again in March.